Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie and today I have my February favorites for you. I know we are well into March. I apologize for the delay. This month just really ran away from me, but I have some really interesting stuff for you today. We are talking about boobies. We're talking about uh, cooking. So that is all coming up right now. Before we get into that, I'm doing another hashtag Stephanie says, which is my Q and A, and I'm doing this all based off of Snapchat. So if you want to snap me a video at Sister Soothing, then I will include that video in the Q and A and answer any of your questions. All right, let's start off with the first product, and these are oil blotting sheets. So it's this little container that looks like a little panda, and you open it up and you can pull out the exact amount of oil blotting sheets that you want and rip it off. And there we go, we have a perfect little amount for what you need. I just thought this little thing was so interesting. It's from a company called Momo or Moomoo Up. It's on Amazon. I'm an oily girl. I always keep oil blotting sheets on me at all times. They usually come in those little uh, like square packets. You know, you just toss them in your handbag or your uh, jacket or whatever and usually gunk will really get into it you pull out a sheet and there's just like I don't know lint and stuff stuck to it because it's a kind of an open container this little container is great though because nothing really gets in there so the sheets don't get dirty and also like I said you can just pull off the exact amount that you want if you need a bigger sheet just pull out more rip it off I think this thing is so cute and very functional I have been wearing these soul sauna mules like crazy this month I apologize to those of you who are in very cold climate still and cannot wear mules yet, but I have been wearing these a ton. I mean, obviously I live in LA, so it has not been raining at all. I think it rained a couple times, so suede is not really a problem for me right now. So sauna as a whole, like I never wore any so sauna shoes until I tried these and I looked on the site and they have some really, really cute shoes. So I think I'm gonna be going towards those. They also have like a black version that's not suede. So I think I might be purchasing these. Um, personally, it's really hard for me to shop for shoes because I have small feet, but they are very wide. So um, yeah, it's important for me to find shoes that can really enclose my feet. I can't wear like really cute strappy heels really because my feet won't even fit in them. Uh, so this is my kind of version of a summer shoe, I would say. Light suede is such a scary material to wear if you are accident prone, but these have been going pretty strong. I love mule styled shoes. You can just slip in and out of them super easily and these are just really comfortable. I would definitely recommend these. I just got back from Palm Springs. I was there at the Ace Hotel for the weekend. It was so beautiful, just like the desert aesthetic. I freaking love Palm Springs. Uh, obviously, I was in the pool quite a lot while I was there and I was wearing my Victoria's Secret one piece swimsuit quite a lot. This swimsuit is everything you could possibly ask for in a one piece. It's so comfortable, it really cinches everything in and because of all this gathering, it's very, very stomach friendly and the butt squeezes nicely, it's not saggy in any way. I don't know why any company would create like a really big butt swimsuit, but it's like a nice cut. I am a booby lady, and even though there's no underwire in the swimsuit, it gives really great support. Uh, I've tried underwire bikinis before, and it just looks too much like a bra to me. I just didn't like it, but this swimsuit was just such an amazing find. It really does give great support, and I felt so comfortable in it. Let's just continue on with the subject of boobies. Uh, I feel like my wardrobe has just been really limited most of my adult life, purely because I don't like wearing items where I can't wear a bra. Like things that are low cut where, you know, I could wear a bra but it'd be showing so I don't really like that. Or backless items, obviously, because you have your bra strap there. So I just never wore those things at all. I just felt like maybe um, I'd just be too exposed or my breasts don't sit as high as I would like them to. Um, and the other day I was on Amazon just kind of perusing breast tape and I came across this one. This is a kind of teardrop shaped tape. The only breast tape I had really seen was the ones that kind of looks like a, a C or I don't know, I think that's it. Or the, the little silicone ones where you stick them on and you bring them together. I've tried a couple sizes of those and they do not work for me. They kind of just plop off. When I saw these, I thought I would go ahead and try them out. What you do is you stick this bottom part underneath your breasts underneath the nipple and then you can pull this up 
up to like here if you want to. So you're kind of giving yourself a little bit of a lift as well as coverage. I wore these while in Palm Springs actually because I had this swimsuit that was very low cut and I was also afraid of it kind of you know, going sideways. I didn't actually end up wearing it because that was kind of happening and you know, I didn't want these to show either, but I wore them underneath my leopard print Victoria's Secret swimsuit and they lasted all day long. Um, I also wore them at an event last week where I got to wear a backless piece and it just felt really great. It felt really awesome feeling like nothing was shifting around, you know, and I was completely supported. It's not uncomfortable. Um, I know that you're, you're definitely not supposed to make them wet. I'll tell you about when I wore these in Palm Springs. Uh, I did wear this in the water. It got wet, um, but when I went to change, it did not deteriorate at all. I thought that I was gonna take my top off and it was gonna just be like little pieces of paper. No, this stuff is actually like quite stretchy, very resilient, and um, it was a little bit difficult to get off because obviously I made the glue wet, so I had to wash it off with water. But otherwise, the other time that I wore it, I think I've worn it like three times now, um, it peeled off quite easily and uh, didn't leave my skin damaged. I did have like a little bit of redness, but it's not like I tore my skin away with it or anything. That sounds really gross. I feel like this is such a game changer. I will link all of you to this in the description box down below, of course, but I'm so happy that I found this and I feel like right now my wardrobe just got like tripled. Enough about boobies now. I mean, I could keep talking. I could talk about boobies all day long. I got a lot to say about them and I like mine a lot. <laughs> but we're gonna move on to something completely different. Ugh. And it is my Le Creuset pot. Oh God. If you don't know about Le Creuset, it's a French brand of cast iron pots and they have a lot of other stuff as well, but they're most well known for this pot. This right here is the five and a half quart pot. And when I cook, I really just like to do things where I can just throw everything into a big pot and cook down. Like I love making soups, I love making chilies, just stuff that I can eat for a couple days. <laughs> I've been wanting this pot for years. I honestly don't even know how or why I became a fan of this pot. I think maybe I saw like a couple cooking shows where they use it and they talked about it and I don't know, just one of those things where I really wanted it. And last year, I think I gave it, was it last year? I gave Jen this pot for her birthday, I believe. Uh, and I think she really enjoys using it as well. And then a few months later, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna treat myself and buy this pot for me. And honestly, it's so crazy. A cast iron cooking is so even. It's kind of difficult to describe. I mean, I think you just have to cook with other pots and then cook with this. And it's just, it is such a difference. So if you're trying to treat yourself or if you have a friend or someone who loves to cook, I think any Le Creuset anything is such an amazing gift for you or for someone else. Last thing I'm gonna talk about is a TV show. And I do follow some shows quite religiously, but it's on like a week to week basis. But this is a show that is shown every single day. And it is The Daily Show with Trevor Noah. I feel like my understanding of politics just Generally what's going on from day to day has just dropped down so drastically in the past couple years because I haven't been keeping up at all. So I wanted to re-enter the world in a, you know, like an easy way that I could kind of follow along every single day. And now I cannot wait to watch The Daily Show every day from, you know, Tuesday to Friday when it's on Hulu because I don't have cable, I have Hulu. I think it's so important to even just have some sort of elementary understanding of what's going on, especially because of what's going on with the election. And I think that Trevor Noah lays things out in a really interesting way. And also he's pretty cute. I think that's really what drew me in at first was he's got a nice smile. Other than Trevor Noah, I also like watching John Oliver. He has a weekly show and he comes out with some really informative stuff as well. I also like Bill Maher, but obviously he's um, to the far left. So if you don't wanna hear that kind of argument, then you're not gonna like him. What I'm really getting at is I've been trying to become more informed and I know some of these news outlets uh, can be biased, but they also put out 
some truth. So I've been trying to keep up. So yeah, those are all my February favorites. My March favorites will be coming up quite soon. Um, I didn't really speak about any products or anything in this video because I have been trying out a couple new things and I thought I would just save it for March just so my skin can kind of get used to it and see if I like it even more. If you like this video, please subscribe. It will let me know. I should keep on making these videos. I love y'all and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.